Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to validate an email address in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a Cloudmersive data validation connector. But before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate and Logic Apps. To start our flow, we'll click Create on the left-hand side of the Power Automate homepage. Choose Instant Flow, then manually trigger a flow, then press Create. Once we reach the flow page, we'll add our one and only step. This will be a Cloudmersive data validation connector, using the fully validate an email address action. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Input your email address to validate. Unlike some of our other flows, we will not be creating a file. Instead, we will save and test our flow directly. Click I'll perform the trigger action, press test, and continue. When it appears, click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now you can click on the Data Validation Connector to see its outputs for the email validation. These should state the domain, whether it's a valid address, domain, SMTP, and syntax, and whether it is a catch-all, disposable, or free email provider. It will also state the mail server used for validation. If your flow doesn't work for some reason, check to make sure your input email was correct, including spelling and any special characters. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.